Did you know you can subscribe to YouTube channels to make them a lot easier for you to find later? Let's take a look at how to do this. I'm in YouTube and it may look different than YouTube when you just go to youtube.com. But um, before we get into channels, I just want you to know I'm running an extension in Chrome called DF YouTube, Distraction Free YouTube. And what it does is it hides like all the trending videos and all of that um, when you're on the home page so that your students don't have to see inappropriate images or videos um, while you're searching for one. All right, let's get to work with some channels. Let's see, I'm interested in learning um, and finding some channels. And by the way, channels are um, videos made by a company, by one company, by a person. Um, they've set up their channel and it's all of their videos. So if you're going to subscribe to them, you want to find channels that have great educational content. So let's say I'm just looking for some science education videos. And then I just get a list here of different ones. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through and I'm looking for ones that I know um, are reputable and, um, and true and appropriate. So uh, let's see. Uh, Let's start with the Smithsonian Science Education Center. So what you'll want to do is click on the link. And In an age of. Start playing their, um, their main video. So you know it's the overview of their Science Education Center. Um, let's look around on this page first. So at the top, that's their cover. Um, They've got their featured videos over here, or featured channels that they follow over here on the right. And then if you scroll down, it's all of their videos. So something else I'm looking for besides the fact that um, they are active. See, you notice that their last videos were a year ago. I don't see anything newer than that right now, but there may be. Um, but they have their videos listed here. They have some teacher resources. Here's some professional development. I think this would be an excellent site for me to subscribe to. And by subscribing, that means I'm going to click on this red button here. So now I'm subscribed to it. And that means when I go up here to these three little lines, I can go and um, this is all of my stuff over here on the left. Um, if I click on subscriptions, those, and it says 18, that means of all the channels I'm subscribed to, let me click on that, there are 18 new ones that I haven't seen yet. So those are there. And then if I scroll down some more, here are all the channels that I have subscribed to. So remember I just subscribed to the Smithsonian, so it's going to be in alphabetical order. Sorry for the scrolling. I need to wait a second for it to show up. Smithsonian channel. It'll show up here in a second. Um, but these are all the channels that I've subscribed to. So 3D and Play, there's three new ones I haven't seen, um, etc. So that's where all your channels come in. And then you can go down without having to go, what was that channel? And I could go and find um, ASAP Science, for example another science channel that I like. Um, Bozeman Science always has good stuff. You'll see I'm subscribed to this one and so are 580,000, almost 581,000 other people. So again, another way to check and make sure that it's a really good site. If there's only three or four people subscribed, doesn't mean it's not a good site, but um, they're not getting there. They have, maybe they just started up. but So Subscribe, find and subscribe to three channels that would um, support your curriculum. 